I'm Dr. John and this is your Maintenance Minute. Hey, we're going to change it up a bit today and we're going to talk a little bit about leadership and specifically about being a net contributor. I was uh, doing a world-class maintenance training last week and there was an hourly maintenance technician who was actually a lead man in my class and we were just kind of going around the room introducing ourselves and he made the comment that he was just a mechanic. Now look, I've heard this many, many times and I kind of corrected him. Hey, look, no one's just a mechanic, just an electrician, just a reliability engineer. We're all valued and valuable and important cogs in the machinery that keeps this thing going. I'm gonna talk about being a net contributor. In fact, this person impressed me so much over three days with all the things that he was doing. He was by no means just a mechanic. He was a very, very important part to, to the success of this organization. When I'm talking about being a net contributor, everyone's got a role to play and everybody's got something important to say and contribute to the future of maintenance and reliability, what we're doing presently and kind of where we're going as an industry, as professionals really. And so here's my question and my challenge to you. We're coming up on sort of the uh, annual conferences and things. It's summertime. We're going to get into the fall here before too long. Lots of conferences and international things we can get involved in. Here's my challenge to you. Are you involved in presentations, either at these big conferences or where you work? Are you leading a presentation? Are you leading a discussion? Are you taking point on a topic? Or are you someone who is adding value to the continuous improvement the continuum that we're on? Are you, just, are, are you offering up some kind of new, fresh way of looking at something? I'm, I'm suggesting if you really looked at it, you probably are. Are you inventing new tools? Are you coming up with different ways to take a look at things? I was at a SMR, SMRP conference years ago, and one of my students from a long time ago was, was the presenter, young guy, young engineer, and he had a, a painfully dry presentation. It was about data that he had been collected, you know, collecting over time. And he had all these tables and he had a co-presenter and they were so excited about it. It was a real, it was dry for the sense of it was just tables of data. And, and But he and his co-presenter were so excited about it that the 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 participants, the, the audience got excited. I got excited, certainly excited for him. And they talked about how, how they measured things, how they collected, what their theory was, and more importantly, what they did with the information. Again, just tables of data. But he had the whole crowd excited about it. And I was just really, really proud of him. So he, he's, out there in, he's out there inventing different ways of looking at things, right? Analyzing and changing. Are we change agents? You don't have to be a change agent for the world, but your organization, are you looking at information that's being collected? Are you looking at it in a different way that causes us to do something positive? I'm gonna challenge you to do that because that information's out there. Are you submitting papers? Are you, are you getting, uh, are you putting work into some of the publications that our industry has? Uh, can I find your name out there? You've got something to contribute, and by gosh, I wanna hear what it is. Are you, uh, uh, adding to articles? Are you taking information that you're reading in articles and magazines and are you doing something with that information or at least seeing if it's relevant where you work? Are you publishing books? Are you contributing to books? Are you helping to edit books? Are you reading books? We've talked about that before. What are you reading right now? Here's my suggestion or, or, or my challenge. That's not even the right word. Here's my hope for all of us that we're net contributors, that we leave more than we take. And believe me, there's lots of great information. I'm going to challenge you if you've not given a presentation at a conference or where you work, you've not written a paper and necessarily invented some new tool or new way of looking at something. I'm going to encourage you to do so. You've always got an ally in me if you want to bounce some ideas off old Dr. John here. I'm very happy to help you and I definitely want to hear it. Because every time somebody presents something, even if we disagree with it, even if it's not our experience, we all learn from that. And imagine what a better place we would be if we just shared all of our ideas, even if they were just pertinent to us, but we got them out there and other people were able to discuss them and they'd learn something new. I know that I certainly will and I'm looking forward to these conferences. And if you're presenting a paper or you're presenting a presentation or a workshop, I can assure you I'm looking very forward to hearing from you because I will grow from that experience and I know that you will too. I'm Dr. John and this has been your Maintenance Minute.